Hello everybody, I'm here to give you an overview of the Takes Two Layers incorporated inside of Studio One 3. Takes Two Layers is a setting in Studio One where you can composite multiple takes of performances and recordings and compile them into one beautiful arranged track. I'm going to simply create a sequence of me saying one, two, three, four with some errors and letters and show how I can remove parts of one take and incorporate parts of a good take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So as you see, this layer has been created. If we go to open up the option to take our layer, we're going to hit this wrench and our takes to layers is set to here. We want to make sure that is selected before we record or else it will not initiate your first layer after you record. Once it's lit up blue, you will know takes two layers is active. Once you're done, you can click out of it or leave it open. And I'm going to continue making an error at five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to turn off the annoying metronome and I'm going to solo layer three. One, two, three, four, A, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you see I made a mistake at A. Now the last track I recorded is the track up top here that says track one with the two in the parentheses. As you see, this is the same clip. By default, your recording is automatically going to be what we call promoted to the track at the top. This is also called activating the layer in Studio One. So if I wanted just to throw layer three up top, I simply click the arrow and you see layer three is now up here. The layer one was the layer that we recorded on. So watch when I promote layer one back up. We have layer two and layer three. So remember, this is layer one. Your first layer that you record on is layer one. Then we have layer two and then we have layer three. And as you see, by default, when you record, it's automatically going to keep what I didn't change, which was on track one on layer two. And then on layer three, I recorded it starting at bar two. When we manually make a change or make a selection in our takes, it will color code our decisions accordingly. As we see our handle, I'm going to click and drag with this handle like this that automatically changes when we go to the layer. I'm going to click and drag and highlight the first three. As you see, it automatically promote it that section up to the top and it will color code it based on the color of the layer. Now we have layer three. I can select the end of layer three. Now layer three is selected. So if you look at the clips, there's this track one here, track one and two, which was layer three. And then this part came from layer two and both of these parts came from layer three. The difference between these two is only the fact that I manually promoted this to the top. So although I'm using both of this, which is highlighted yellow as seen here and here, the fact that I made the manual change is why this is highlighted yellow. So the error occurred in track one and two when I said A, when at bar four. One, two, three, four, A, six, seven, eight. So we need to change that. So let's say I like my layer three take besides the A. One way I can do this is promote the entire layer to the top. So now I'm on layer three. I like the entire layer three. It sounded great. 
but I want to fix that error. If you look at layer one, when you create and make edits, those edits save. As you see, layer three with the yellow change here, that was saved. So I'm going to make this change and I need to make this layer two since layer two was the good take. And I didn't say A, I actually said a number here. So I am going to click like that. Because if you remember layer two, one, two, three, four, five. But in layer three, I said that incorrectly. So now, although layer three had the incorrect version, by promoting the right clip of layer two into layer three, we get this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remember, this is layer three. And how do I know? If I promote layer one back and go back to layer three, here's layer three, which has my original clip. And then it has this insertion from layer two. Let me record another take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have layer four here. So if I wanted to make that change again, I can do the same thing, or I can simply just go in and get what I want. I can one and three, then I can jump down here. I'm gonna turn on snap so it automatically snaps to the grid. And then I'm gonna select from here to here. Then I'm gonna select from here to here. Make a simple adjustment, just like that. So now I have composited three different takes into one. And if I want to change this block, I can simply just click. As you see, it's constrained by these boundaries. Double click, and it's now that. And if I want to change it to layer three, I'm simply just clicking around, figuring out which block that I want. It's that easy. And it doesn't matter how many takes you have. And I can remove the rest of this. And so you can rename your layers if you so choose. You can duplicate your layers. You can even hide certain layers. And if you want to get rid of showing the layers, you can right click and hit expand layers. So this is really good for vocals. This is really good for band tracks, everything can be saved under each individual take. And then you can go in and choose which parts sound good if you made a mistake in your performance. So that's basically your overview for takes to layers. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.